Yo, what's up guys? So today's video is going to be a complete in-depth guide on how to do triple edits. Don't go skipping around through the video because there's going to be useful tips throughout the whole thing. This is a short video, but it's also going to be very action-packed, so if you want to get the most out of it, make sure you watch until the very end. So let's waste no more time and get right into the video. The very first thing you have to practice is single cone edits and single floor edits. Before you can do any triple edits or double edits, these single edits need to be perfectly consistent. If you still occasionally mess up on these, make sure you go back and practice these until they're perfect. If you still struggle with single edits, what you could do is put an extra ramp in between each one like this to buy yourself some more time. This is very useful when learning new drills because you can practice it more efficiently and then you can start working on your speed. One of the most important tips I could give you is to change the way you look at editing. After you edit your floor, I want you to immediately place a ramp as fast as you can. So instead of looking at a single edit like placing a ramp, then a floor, and then editing, think of it like placing a floor, editing the floor, and then placing a ramp. Thinking of it this way will change the way you place your builds and it will help you in the long run. The next thing that you have to practice is definitely one of my favorite drills and it's called alternating floor and cone edits. This will really improve your muscle memory and will help with placing floors and cones. If this drill is still too difficult for you, head into your settings and turn off your sprint by default. This is another really useful tip when trying to learn new drills because it will give you more time to make your edit since you're walking. So if you're ever struggling, turn off your sprint by default. Once you've mastered all the drills I just provided, it's time to start working on your double edits. Before you can start getting fast with them, you have to first learn the movement of a double edit. So to do a double edit, you're going to place a cone, floor, edit your floor, both tiles, and then edit one tile of the cone, and then immediately place a ramp. For efficient double edits, your double edits should look exactly like mine. Just like with the single edits, make sure you really focus on placing that ramp immediately after you double edit so you don't mess up. Once you've mastered your double edits and you're starting to get a little quick with them, it's time to start working on your triple edits. To do a triple edit, you're going to start just how we started with the double edit. But instead of immediately placing a ramp after you edit the cone, you're going to immediately place a wall. Then after you edit that wall, you're going to immediately place a ramp just like we did with the double edit. Here it is again, so just really focus on the movement that I'm doing. Also notice how my crosshair doesn't move until I edit my wall. Once you master the movement of your triple edit, it's time to start working on the speed. Immediately after you edit your wall, place a ramp as quickly as you can, just like we did with the double edits and the single edits. And then once you guys master on quickly placing the ramp, I want you to focus on quickly placing the cone and then the floor in that order. With all this information, and if you practice it right, your triple edits will start to look like mine. That's all I have for this video, guys, so if you made it all the way to the end, drop a yellow heart in the comments so I know who watched it all the way through. And if you guys enjoy my content, feel free to use code VIZULU in the item shop because it helps me a lot more than you think. Also, let me know what you guys think I could do to make my YouTube videos better because I'm really trying to put some more effort into them this year. But with all that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.